wanted to get your reaction to when you got the news or you got word. I'm sure it wasn't a, a huge surprise. You probably talked to him throughout the course of the year. But when O3 told you that he was going to come back, what was your reaction? And do you have any sense of what type of impact he can make uh, this season? You know, I, I, first of all, my my reaction was was of uh, I was very excited, right? I mean, he's obviously you know one of, one of the better football players on our football team, one of the better football players in the league. Uh, you know, I have a soft spot in my heart for linebackers. You know, having worked with that position before, and and uh, we've had a pretty good run here with, with guys like O three, and uh, you know, we're excited to have him back, and uh, I love his mindset. He's He's, he's back just to take his game to another level and help us hopefully defensively to take it to another level. So that's, uh, that's very exciting and uh, looking forward to it. And, you know, the, the big thing there is we didn't have, even have a spring football season with 03 last year, and that goes for everybody as well. But uh, just really excited about that opportunity to uh, get him more oriented in our defense and, and take another step forward. We're going to go to Bobby Darren, 24-7. Rob, I know it's still early, but is there a position group that you're really expecting to make a jump this year? And if so, why? You know, I'll tell you, I'm really expecting all the, all the groups to, to make a jump. I mean, that's, that's the way you get better as a collectively on defense. You know, I'll start with the back end. I think, uh, number one, we're excited to have Fran back with us. And, and I think those guys are working really, really hard with Jay. They're, they're working hard academically and, you know, I think we're going to play better uh, football in, in the back end, and that's going to be important for us. Uh, you know, that's the last line of defense, right? And, and in terms of eliminating big plays, I think the, uh, the secondary, very, very excited about the work that they put in. Obviously, we talked about the linebacking core. You know, we, we've got Fog coming back as well with 3 so I think we can make a, uh, you know, a, a, another jump there. And then, you know, up front, it's, uh, you know, guys like uh, Jew and, and, and Tavertoff. I mean, we're – we're expecting to make a jump at all three levels. That's the only way that you can get better as a, as a group entirely. So we're, uh, we're excited about that. We'll take our next question from James Cratch, NJ.com. Rob, I know Terrain had a big impact for you in a lot of several of your wins in that kind of limited package. How do you expand his role and what do you envision his role being this season? You know, I'll tell you what, the, uh, I think that's a great point. The, uh, the one thing that, that we actually have this year, I think we're going to have a, as normal as you can in these times. We're going to have a normal spring. We're going to have a normal, uh, you know, normal fall training camp. So I think a guy like Mo can really benefit from that. And, and where we kind of had the, the limited, uh, you know, pieces of some packages that he was involved, we can really expand upon that and, and, you know, he's a talented guy. He works really, really hard. He works hard with Jay. He works hard with Coach Rage. He works hard in the classroom. So he's a guy that I think through, uh, you know, with, with having spring football this year will be a big difference for him and some of the pieces that he can add on to in our package. Going to go to Chris Eisman with Gannett. Rob, just want to ask about um, Patrice Rene. Uh, what did you like about him and, and how much do you think he can, you know, bolster your secondary with his, his ability and his experience too? Well, you know, the, the big thing about, you know, any transfer that, that, that we're going to take is he's a Rutgers kid, right? And, and what's a Rutgers guy? Somebody that's going to, you know, work hard, loves to play the game. And those guys usually, you know, things translate well for them uh, on the field. So haven't had a chance to, to, to work with him very, you know, other than just see him. Uh, but very, very excited to work with him during uh, spring football. But uh, we're certainly glad we have him. And, and like I said, he's, he's the typical – kind of guy that we're looking for in a transfer loves to play the game of football hard-working guy so that that uh that that should bid well for us we're gonna go to anthony fusilli records radio network coach hey coach how you doing um doing great you know there's a lot of talk obviously about having a second time around, go around with uh, with the kids how beneficial is it for you now that you know what they're capable of when they're in the line of fire that hey i can trust these guys now you know what they're capable of it, 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 it's exciting. I tell you what, I really am. I'm looking forward to getting getting going with uh, with spring football and, and start the process. Is you know, kind of I've alluded to last year. We were kind of piecing it all together on the run, like everybody else was. That was the just the rules of the game. But uh, you know, the second go around, I think we have a pretty you know pretty good sense of of what we are and what we aspire to be defensively. So now we're really excited to, to get to work in the spring and. And we kind of we know what we put on film last year on defense. There were some goods, uh, 
obviously some things that we've got to improve upon and and that's what we'll start working and chipping away at and find a way to become a, a better defense each and every day uh, we get a chance to go out there in the spring and and, and carry that on through the fall we're going to go to Richie Schneider right, with Rivals Coach, as the, as the season progressed last year, it seems like you guys were starting to run more nickel. Was that more philosophy-based or more based on the personnel that you guys have? You know, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we're, we're going to look at that. This is what I know about being being a football coach. we got to get the 11 best guys we can on the football field. So whether they have a defensive back tag by them, a linebacker tag, or defensive line tag, we got to put our guys in the best position to be successful. So... Number one, we've got to have capable bodies at that position. And number two, they've got to be able to match up well against the, uh, the offenses that we're playing in terms of what they have in the game, in terms of wide receivers or tight ends. So, you know, I think that that was, uh, you know, as the year went on, we were able to do that more. That's something that uh, we would like to explore. But at the end of the day, we're going to get our best 11 guys out there, whether they're linebackers or defensive backs, and, and we're going to do the best job we can to put them in a position to be successful. Let me take a few more questions. We'll go back to Keith Sargent, NJ.com. Rob, when you talk about things that you need to improve on, uh, where does uh, stopping to run uh, rank in, in, in your list of priorities? Well, you know, the uh, when we talk about, you know, our defensive philosophy, one of the top things we talk about is stopping the run. And, uh, you know, we've certainly got to get better at that. And, you know, that that's uh, there's no one magic thing that we've got to, do to correct that i think it's just it's all position groups working together understanding uh how we have to get better in certain areas and, and stopping the run is, is certainly one of them and we'll take a, a lot of pride and time in, in terms of, of working towards that this spring james cratch nj.com rob what do you think clicked for mike turdoff down the stretch last season it seemed like he became a totally different player those last two three weeks yeah you know uh you know, when, when you see a guy that's kind of playing with the confidence he, he, he does, you know, I think it really comes down to a, a couple of things. You know, he, number one, he loves to play the game of football. I, I think he prepares and, 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 he, and he's learning how to prepare within our system. And, and then when you have some positive actions go for you, things really kind of start, you know, the uptake. You know, the Maryland game really comes to mind with, you know, some of the plays that he made in that game. But, uh, hey, he set the bar for himself now in terms of preparation and, and how he needs to, to respond, and uh, we're excited to see him this spring, and, and that's got to carry on throughout the fall. We're going to take our final two questions. We'll go to Chris Nowalski with Rivals. Hey, Coach. Uh, kind of building off the other questions, um, what areas of the defense did you feel like, uh, you know, really excelled this season? And, uh, yeah, that's basically now, Well, you know, hey, when we look at the whole picture, right, you, you know, I think it's the kind of the nature of defense. You're not, you're not really, like, looking at – you're always looking to fix problems and solve problems. That's just the way the game is right now. So obviously we've got to we got to continue to work with our run defense. We got to do a much better job of uh, eliminating big plays and and we got to continue to be more consistent in in creating takeaways. And, and but that's our defensive philosophy. So you know every year at this time we, we take a long hard look of of whether it's scheme, technique, personnel, how it all factors into those to those areas that we need to improve and. You know, we'll, uh, we'll we'll have a better plan. Uh, you know, f from our standpoint as coaches, and, and and you know, put our guys in a better position to be successful in all those areas. But uh, if we could be more consistent in the in, in the takeaway uh, department, uh, you know, that would be you know one area that I think can can really help move this program forward. We have a saying around here: the the ball's the program. So uh, you know, uh, that, that's everything for us. And, and our job on defense is to find a way to get the ball back to the offense. So we've got to continue to to explore and find ways to do that. Our final question goes to Chris Eisman. Gannett. Rob, is there anyone who, um, in particular, who impressed you with the, with the way that they grew and developed and, and improved over the course of last season? You know, I, it's hard to, to, to single out, you know, just one guy. I I was really, really impressed with the, the group as a whole. I mean, I, you know, I think, what was it, nine straight Big Ten games. The guys showed up and, and worked really hard this week. and and did the things that, you know, that Coach Giano asked him to do within the culture in order to have an opportunity to do that. So I was just really impressed with the, with the group and their mindset. And, and, and I think that's, that's a positive. That's what excites me for this year is it, hopefully we can get into a little bit normal routine. Like I said, with spring football, a, a normal fall training camp, 
I think that's something certainly to build on. So I don't think it's one guy, but just the collective group and, and how they went to work and they and, and battled and, and were able to play in, in, in nine straight games and, and not miss one. Just, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, I think uh, that's certainly something that, that we could be proud of. And now we got to take that and use that and, and make ourselves even better heading into uh, the spring and the fall. Great. Thanks for the time, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>